Manhwa are the latest trend in the world of comics, and it is slowly on the rise. Korean comics weren't able to compete with manga as efficiently as they do now. The release of Korean webtoons like Solo Leveling and Tower of God has also helped this cause. Korean manhwa boasts of many overpowered main characters, but in some cases, they are thoroughly underappreciated and underestimated. So today, let us take a look at 10 manhwa, where the main character is overpowered but underestimated. Latna Saga is an RPG-based story that takes part in a fantasy world. The character in focus is Hanbin Ryu who has just got out of military service. It's like he has completely lost his life same after that and is simply drifting through days as they come and go. But to his amazement, he is teleported to a different world one day. After reaching the place, he finds out that the guideline that newbies are provided with is broken in his case. As a result, he is forced to be stuck in the tutorial phase for over 20 years. When he finally gets the chance to come out of that hell, he discovers that people have turned against the likes of him. The odds of him surviving their rage as a low-level character seem pretty low. Red Storm is centered around the theme of martial arts. So, if you are a fan of that genre, you are bound to love this particular manhwa. Our protagonist in this story is Yulian Provoke whose adventurous life is followed by us. He is a part of the Peria tribe and has managed to successfully attain the title of the Young Glow. It holds the status comparable to a chieftain and Yulian now strives to become the most powerful warrior in the Red Desert. During the beginning of the story, we see Yulian coming across a man from another dimension. He learns the fine techniques of a unique martial art under him as his master and makes it his goal to create a strong warrior team called Red Storm that will be powerful enough to deal with any challenges. Most of us are aware that MMORPG is a very famous and popular genre for manga. Manwa is also not far behind in this category, and you will find some hidden gems here like this one. In this story, we come to know about a character named Hyun Lee who has to spend his days in poverty while living with his grandmother. He is a part-time worker and lives every day as it passes. In the middle of his difficult living conditions, he comes across a game known as Royal Road that takes the players to a world of virtual reality. He decides to enter the game in order to earn some money that can help his family's financial conditions. But it is not so easy and he has to grind a lot to level up his skills. He is determined not to give up on his aim and does every bit possible to succeed in his plan. This is another action manhwa that involves time travel and a second chance. Our hero in this story is Ju Seo Chien who has got a lot of luck at his disposal. This is how he managed to get through the age of war, only based on his luck. And it did not just stop at that. After that, he was also able to become the elder of the Huesin faction. But it wasn't as rose, covered as he thought it would be, and he was left with many regrets and doubts once his tenure was over. So, when he was lying on his deathbed waiting to pass on to the afterlife, life decided to give him a second chance. He was transported back to the past, and this time he might not be so lucky. The core of this manhwa is about a character being summoned to a different world. The character I am talking about is Hansu Kang who has been brought to Fantasia. As we have also seen with another fantasy manhwa, the first task he gets is to defeat the demon lord. In all seriousness, it could not have been more predictable. The characters summoned to a different world always have to defeat the lord of demons, like it's an unspoken rule. Anyways, he grinds for 10 whole years and finally succeeds in his endeavor. He is relieved that finally, he will be able to return to his own home in the real world. But here comes the twist. Instead of sending him back, the god of the world hands him a report card which may just extend his stay there by a few days. Everyone awakes as a player at a different age. In the case of Kim Giju, it was at 18 years of age. He had a sense of calm after that since he was convinced that his life was finally on the right track and he was close to glory. But as we know, life doesn't go as we expect it to. Kim decided to climb the tower and cleared the tutorial for the game after closing the gates. He then defeated a goblin, hoping that his level would increase. But somehow he was still stuck at level 1. Five years passed after that and Kim tried a lot of ways to level up in those five years, but to no avail. 
He was stuck at level 1 which there could exist in the first place. Characters in this manhwa have only one aim and that is to reach the top of the Tower of God. It has got various floors that need to be cleared by the participants in order to reach the top. The participants are normally chosen by the tower itself, but in some cases, people can enter of their own free will who are known as irregulars. Bam is one of these irregulars who wish to climb to the top and meet Rachel, his childhood friend. But it is not as straightforward as he thinks, and he will face perilous challenges along the way. In this Korean manhwa, we will read about a boy named Jin Kaiyang. He has been hibernating in his home for almost three years. He is completely shut off from the outside world as he only spends time with his 2D friends. Wait. Doesn't that sound familiar? Yes, this is the story of almost all the Otakus out there. As if to make the dream of every otaku come true, Jin Kaiyang gets an invitation to another world. Not only that, it is a petite girl who has summoned him, since she needs his help. Our protagonist in this manhwa is Rai who is under constant threat from a mysterious organization known as the Union. Rai's friend comes to his rescue and gets him enrolled into the year and high school to keep his identity hidden. But Rai will not experience peace for a long time as eventually, he has to face the Union himself. On the other side we will come to know that Rai's friend, Frankenstein is none other than a former Union agent who has joined the security staff of Rai's school. Solo leveling is one of the most popular Korean manhwas, where we follow the story of Sung Jin Woo. He is an E-class hunter, which is the lowest class, making him the weakest out of all the hunters. As a result, everyone looks down on him, and he doesn't have any other accomplishments to show them to. His life is in complete tatters, when suddenly he comes across a dungeon with his party. It is not any ordinary dungeon and he can make use of it to make his life better. Well that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video on Manwe, where the main character is OP but underestimated. I know I did, I have a lot of binge reading ahead of me. And I'm sure you do too. I'm sure your list just expanded out, or who knows maybe you're all caught up. And when you complete all of the Manwe, mentioned on the list. But anyways, if you think that we missed anything on this list then be sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video, if you like it, and subscribe to the channel for more Manwa content like this, anyways I'll catch you later see you in the next one.